Hi, it's me. Can you come to my office, please? I have some remarks on a report you wrote that I want to talk about with you. Yes, right now. Get in. Come in and sit down. We need to talk about the report you wrote about the last department meeting. I've read through it and I'm not fully happy with what you wrote down in it. Before the meeting I said that it was confidential. I hoped that you would stay more vague in the report. Normally I ask you to be more specific about certain things. But these meetings are different. Like very different. When I hired a new assistant, I wanted to hire one that could handle this part of the job as well. Wait, hold up. I'm not going to fire you. Don't worry. I want to give you a chance to make the report better than what it is right now. I want you to send it to me before you go home tomorrow. If your changes do not satisfy me, I will have to reconsider your position in this company, which would be a shame. I am very happy with you, so it would be a loss to let you go. So, change this report before- Olivia, there's an emergency. They found the warehouses and- Hello to you too, Marcus. I I'm very sorry, Miss Harvey. I shouldn't have rushed into your office like that. However, this matter is really pressing. It needs your immediate attention. Well, go on. But- They- They can stay. What's up? Well, the warehouses have been found. There's going to be people searching through them tomorrow. If we don't want them to know what's in there, then we need to move everything. When did you hear this? Not even five minutes ago, ma'am. Good. Make a call to the department heads to start evacuation plan 14. Tell Jones that I'm coming over right now. Yes, ma'am. Looks like I can throw all my plans out the window. I want you to come with me. Right now. The report will come later. This is way more important right now. You can leave everything as it is right now. I will call Stephanie real quick to let her know that we will be out. Please go gather your stuff and meet me in the garage in 10 minutes. Before we see anyone here, I want you to know one important rule. This warehouse has a back room. Do not go in there at any cost. I don't care what is being said to you, do not go in there. Am I clear? Good. The perfect assistant as always. Let's see if Marcus is already here. I'm here, ma'am. Oh, there you are. Where's Jones? She could walk in at any moment now. Hello, Miss Harvey. I came here as soon as I could. Good. I want to talk with Jones, so I'll have to leave you two here for a moment. Marcus, if you don't mind, can you show them around, please? Of course I can. Perfect. Jones, please follow me. We need to discuss this evacuation plan. Of course, ma'am. I already have the plan in the office. I can see that Miss Harvey's really stressed right now. It worries me. I've never seen her work longer days than during the last couple weeks. If she sleeps three hours a night, that's a lot. You're wondering what's happening, aren't you? Well, I can't tell you the fine details, but an external organization has found all of our warehouses. This organization wants to seize all the stuff that's in here. They want to take away everything that we've worked so hard for. I've known Miss Harvey for years now. In the beginning, I worked for her father. When he, sadly, passed away, I started working for Miss Harvey. I was a normal worker in one of the departments until she gave me a major promotion. I've been working hard for her and the company ever since. Sometimes I really feel bad for her. She tries to do everything in her power to make sure the company lives up to her father's standards. But there are still people who look down on her. She really had to toughen up in order for people to take her seriously. I think she's doing great. 
That's why I do everything in my power to make it easier on her. Honestly, in the beginning, I was kind of skeptical about you. Miss Harvey really seemed to like you from day one. She said that you're reliable and that you work hard, and I must say that she's right so far. Anyway, I have some calls to make. Don't hesitate to look around here. Oh, and I think Miss Harvey already told you this, but don't go into the back room. Okay? What are you doing here? You can't be here. Miss Harvey told you not to go into this room. You weren't supposed to see all of this. If someone finds out you know about this, you'll be dead. What is all of this? Take a guess. Crystals for decoration. Are you serious? Listen, you need to hide right now. Miss Harvey's coming. I can cover for myself, but I am not going to cover for you if she finds you. Marcus? What are you doing here? I was just checking up on some things. I was about to take my leave. My apologies. Like I said, we have to move all the merchandise to the new location tonight. Here and here on the map are the new locations. This needs to be done before midnight. All of your men get double paid for the inconvenience, but they have to come in. No discussions. You know that they will still not be happy with working this amount of overtime, right? I know, but this is an emergency. This cannot wait. You know that an emergency like this occurred not too long ago? My people were not happy with it back then. I don't know how they'll react if I tell them there's an emergency again. I don't care. You figure it out. It is really easy for you to say that, you know. You don't have to deal with angry workers coming at you and threatening to destroy everything you have. That's the risk of working for me, Jones. You better figure it out so everything is gone before midnight. There's a plan for you that helps you with the evacuation. Follow it. Olivia, you try so hard to be your father. Let me break the news to you. You're not. Your father gained respect from everyone in this business through his acts and doing. He respected everyone equally. He really helped us. Under his lead, this wouldn't have happened twice in two months' time. How... the fuck... do you dare to pull my father into this? I'm only telling the truth, Olivia. I do not care about your truth, Jones. In the end, you work for me. You follow my lead and my orders. You had the chance to walk out and you didn't. So now it's time to suffer the consequences of your actions. What do you mean? Are you fucking serious? You, of all people, should know exactly what I mean by that. Get on your knees. But, Olivia, you cannot- Get on your knees, Jones. We really don't have to do it this way. I, I was just fed up, and, and I had built up some frustration. Olivia, please. Shh, 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 shut up. You must understand that I am not the person to ventilate your feelings to. I am your boss. You listen and obey my orders, whatever they are. If you don't like it, fuck off. I've had to warn you about your attitude towards me so many times. I've been so kind to you compared to other business owners. My kindness stops at some point and I think I'm at that point right now. Please. Please. Kill me. I beg you. I will do better. Listen to me very, very carefully. This is your last warning. This warehouse is empty by 10 p.m. tonight. After that, you will be helping the coke department. They are short staff right now. Oh, and before you go, it's Miss Harvey, not Olivia. Now, get out. Y yes, ma'am. Thank you. Gotta call my assistant. What the? Where are you? Are you in here? I swear to God, if you're in here, come out. 
What part of don't go into the back room didn't you understand? It wasn't that hard of an instruction now, was it? Oh, don't say sorry now, you fucked up badly. You know, what you see here is not for sharing with the outside world. Once you've seen all the trays with the crystals, I would have to kill you. Protocol, you know. Can't leave any loose ends. There's only people working here that know what is in here. I made the rules myself, it will make me look unreliable if I will let you live. You were not supposed to see all of this... yet. <sighs> Listen, I don't want to kill you. So far you're one of the only assistants that does the job correctly. It would be a shame to let that go. I'm so gonna regret this. I want to make a deal with you. You'll keep your mouth shut about all of this. You will keep your life if you do so. If you don't, I will kill you. By now, you should know that I'm not the type of person to bluff about that. Sounds good? Perfect. We have to go now. There's a lot of other stuff that needs to be fixed today. Hi. The report looks much better now. Well done. This gives me good hope. Keep it up, okay? Wow, that short phone call's got you smiling like crazy. Miss Harvey complimented you? You must have done something really good then. It's been a while since you last complimented me. Can you... can you follow me for a moment? Look, I noticed that you've been going out of the office with Miss Harvey a lot lately. Is everything okay? She's been really distant to me. The thing is, I'm onto something. I don't think Miss Harvey is who she says she is. I'm pretty sure she's not. I think Miss Harvey knows that I'm onto something because she keeps pushing me away. She's being really distant and only let me do the boring side of the job. I think she sees me as a threat. Has she said anything about me to you? Damn, I really thought something like that. Look, you have to be really glad that she likes you so much. The only person that she's really liked so far is Marcus. You're an exception to the rule here. I know if I step out of line, even if it's a little bit, I'm gone. Has anyone told you about her sister? The one that she... Okay, doesn't matter. I don't want to dump too much on you. Not here anyway. If you want more information on the whole situation, come to my apartment tonight. I'll be waiting there from 8pm onwards. If you haven't shown up by 10pm, don't worry, I know enough. No hard feelings. But please consider coming. I don't want anything bad to happen to you. Anyway, we should get back to work before anyone gets suspicious.